had breakfast at the hotel. Uh, chicken sausage, eggs, and some uh, rice porridge. And rice porridge is really good. Um, the rice was more, it sounds stupid, but like more rice looking than usual. Like usually it does look like porridge, but it's actually like rice. I had like almost like an hour and a half, I guess, to kill for my uh, train. So I just uh, tried to hit some streets that I hadn't been to in the area. It's a pretty small city, so I covered most of, I don't know if it would be the main roads, but like I, I covered a good amount of the ground where I'm It's kind of weird when you're um, approaching the railway station, you can kind of just walk from behind it, so you're just kind of crossing over the tracks. I was trying to find like a cafe or something, just something with air conditioning. Um, and then, uh, uh, did a loop around the downtown area, <clears throat> found a, um, like an indoor market, walked in there for a little bit. Near the station, there's this little tiny cafe. I thought I was ordering, it was like a green tea milk frappuccino, but she just brought me basically just a frappuccino. It was still good. Before I could finish it, all of a sudden, like, they closed randomly at, like, noon or whatever. So I had, like, kind of walk around with the frappuccino in my hand. And then the train arrived. experience on trains so far, so hopefully each time I take one it's going to improve. There's only um, someone sitting next to me for like, the beginning of the trip and then for the rest of the trip, um, no one's sitting next to me, and then for like the last two hours or so, like no one in my row. Another nice thing about my seat was there was a plug on that wall, so I was able to keep charging my laptop. That makes a big difference because on the previous train, like my laptop and my phone were almost dead by the time I got, got off the train, so it's nice to be able to just keep Popping up. More out of curiosity, um, before the end of the ride, I um, went to the bathroom to see what those were like. At one of the stops, I started hearing this like a uh, woman crying out. It's like everyone's looking back. A woman uh, nearby explained that um, the woman, the other woman, is crying out that like the door had like shut on her finger. But apparently they they addressed it. Right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so that was weird though, just like being in a train full of people looking back panicked and having no idea what's going on. The train stopped for a while, like <clears throat> in one of the last stops, and so it ended up um, getting to Chiang Mai like an hour late. So I was a little worried that I was going to uh, not be able to get in my hostel, because at a certain point in the night they don't do check-ins anymore. Luckily the um, receptionist is still there. This hostel is the most bare bones I've been to. It 
doesn't even have air conditioning. It just has a has some fans in the room. And actually, when I was in there, the fans weren't on. So hopefully, someone turns the fans on when we go to bed. As I was walking there, I'd say a couple places I wanted to go to. I ended up just coming to a uh, it's like it's a cafe slash kind of bar. So they have beer, and then outside they have uh, like barbecue going on. Beer is just like two bucks, and then they have these uh, skewers. This is uh, just mushrooms, and then there's not much left on it. This is a uh, pork, and they're ten baht each, <coughs> which is like nothing. Um, and then uh, you get ten of these, and you get a free one. But I'm not that hungry. Well, actually, I probably could eat some more, but um, I told them to make them spicy, so they're very spicy. I don't know if I want to have <coughs> four more of these or five more of these. This is my this is my second round, but uh, it's very good. And uh, yeah, like. If I wasn't trying to see a bunch of different places, I'd see coming back here a lot. Um, like just getting good barbecue, cheap beer, and really fast Wi-Fi. Like the vlog I just uploaded was uh, day 18. It went up in like five minutes compared to when I usually have to wait like half an hour on YouTube. These are nice and spicy. It's actually making me sweat a little bit. They're worried that I didn't like it. It's really good. I almost want to get another four. I'm gonna see how frugal, within reason, I could be in the next few days. Um, so I'm going to be sticking mostly with hostels that are about $4. Um, I'm going to try to not skimp too much on the food because like, it's a big reason why I'm here. I have six days to uh, get back to Bangkok um, to catch my flight to Hanoi. If it works out... Oh, fuck. I got to... Uh, I was going to try to book the ticket at the train station. I forgot to. Maybe some night I'll get a hostel near the train station. <clears throat> so I'm just going to walk and stop by. But, um... Because I've learned that I don't want to risk not being able to get a seat. Um, although, like I said, the train out here was pretty empty by the, by the time I got out here. So it might not be too hard to get a seat. So for the uh, Vietnam thing, I just need to get a, to a passport photo or passport size photos. And I found a shop that does it, but like it does it as a package. So I don't know if I, because like I don't need the visa from them. I can get that online for like 20 bucks. And I can get that within like two days notice but I actually did it within like four hours notice but it costs like 40 bucks um, but so I'm gonna try to get the pictures without getting the visa and then submit it online just like that there's a cafe around here that has like a scanner and printer and stuff so it should be fine with just that um, yeah I, know. <laughs> I hate that I end up rubbing always it's just I have to kind of mentally go through the list in my mind of things that I did so yeah um, Till tomorrow.